<laughs> One more, and we'll have built our tallest pine cone tower yet. <gasps> oh. It's all good. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> now, before we get started, can anyone tell me what we said the most important rule of junior lifeguarding was? Oh, 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 listening! That's right, Becca! You also said that a whistle is the lifeguard's best friend. Ooh, and always be alert. And you also ordered a medium seafood sub, hold the mustard, extra breadcrumbs, green nut red peppers, and dill for your lunch. It wasn't part of the training, but we were listening. Stop listening, bunch. I'm not going. But we're so close. Come on, don't you want to make your wish? Here, you can hold Puffles. She's very soft and cheers me up when I'm afraid. I'm not going and that's final. You go on ahead if you want. I'm gonna... Take a nap in that log. Hmm? Thank you very much. You really are soft, Poffles. You make such a nice pillow. Hey, what's going on? Poffles, stop moving around. Ah, Bento! Are you okay? Mm-hmm. <gasps> Puffles, you made it! Thank you for protecting her, Pedro. What's that in the road? It's a big log! No car can get past that. We'll have to take the long way around. <laughs> Careful! <laughs> what do we do? Leave it to me. the drippy daisy. And there should be some growing around here. Somewhere. I don't like the look of those clouds. Heavy rain's on the way. Don't worry, Pedro. Drippy daisies love wet weather. It's not the flowers I'm worried about, Russell. We need to find shelter. But I can't see any trees around. One bunch-sized umbrella coming up. Abracabra! See, I told you she was the super prepared one. Yeah. <gasps> oh no! What do we do now? We're doomed! Doomed! Well, I mean, we'll get soaked! Soaked! Hmm. I wish I was at home. It never rains in my house. It sometimes rains in my bathroom. Are you sure that's not your shower, Russell? <laughs> oh yeah. Nice bag, MJ. I'm a bit of a bag expert, so I can tell you it's totally ace. Do you just wake up every morning and say, Hooray! I've got the best job ever! Huh? Oh, yeah. It's uh, pretty good, I suppose. <laughs> Sylvia, do you have any more lights in your bag? Hmm, let me have a look. Um, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome start, Sylvia. But I think we're going to need a little more light to get Mom safely on the ground. Maybe Puffs could take us into town so we can find some more. There's no time to lose. Let's wing it. Come on, come on, come on. Are you sure you don't need me to come with you? No, thanks, Pops. We got this. Lamps, please. We need to borrow your lamps. Bring out the lamps! Does anyone have any lamps to spare? We'll take any lamps we can get! Thanks, Lola. You're welcome, Becca. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> that sure is a lot of lamps. Yup! Moms will definitely be able to see the landing trip now. How are we going to power all these lamps, Becca? I'm not sure just yet, but we'll find a way. <gasps> I think we've just found a way to power all these lamps. Mm. 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 
Well, Becca, that's all of them. Yeah! Ready, guys? Sure am! Uh-huh. Can you see us? Over? I see you all right. Stand by. I'm coming into land. <laughs> Come on, Sylvia. You got this. <laughs> oh, there are trees everywhere. How are we going to find the one making that noise? Hmm. Maybe Sylvia has something in her bag to help. Abracadabra! Cool ear trumpet. That'll help. Got anything else? Here you go. I was thinking snacks, but this will do. What about for you? I don't need anything. Fox ears may be small, but they're very sensitive. This is no time to eat acorns, Russell. Wow! She does have good ears. They can even hear what I'm thinking. Hey, Sylvia, what you reading? Lucy Clue's Detective Agency. It's my favorite book ever. Hmm. Um, Sylvia? You know your magnifying glass that I borrowed to look at those frosty spider webs? Hmm. It's behind the pot. <gasps> oh, wow! <laughs> you know, Sylvia, you're pretty good at finding stuff. Thanks, Becca. It's nothing really. I just noticed things. Okay, everyone, try to remain calm. <sighs> but I think someone has taken my nut stash. Don't worry, Russell. I'll help you solve this mystery. Mm. Did you write? Any chance eat the nuts and then forget that you ate them? Did I? Oh yeah, I did! And they were delicious! <laughs> Mystery solved and case closed! Wow, Sylvia, you really are a super sleuth detective. Like I said, I just notice things. I'm no detective. Help! Huh? Help, not Pearl! <gasps> did you hear that? Sounds like someone needs our help. Come on, bunch! We should just give up, find MJ, and tell him what happened. No, we can't give up. We just have to come up with a plan. It's too bad the wind can't tell us where the letter went. Wait a minute. I have something. No way. Something that can understand the wind? Pistachio! Abracadabra! A weather vane. Great idea, Sylvia. It will show us which way the wind blew the letter. The wind is blowing. That way! Oh, yeah! <gasps> Hello? Sylvia! We have a Woodland Games emergency! A complete and utter disaster! <gasps> the Wagtail Woods Relay Race Team can't find their baton! But without a baton, Wagtail Woods will have to forfeit the race and Tetherton will automatically win! That's right, Sylvia. As per Rule 83, Subsection E, Clause 2.4. Abracadabra! I packed a spare baton just in case. Oh, thank goodness! But can you get it to the starting line in time? I'll do my best. Here goes nothing. Go, Sylvia! Welcome to Woodrock Radio, coming to you live with the bird's eye view from Mom's airship. My goodness, it appears that Sylvia, the fox who helped make the Woodland Games happen, is racing across the woods with a replacement baton. But surely she can't make it there in time. She has just picked Professor Van de Sant at the Woodland Marathon finishing line. She's really going for this. Wow, that's wild. Sylvia's just perfectly executed the longworm jump. You can do this. You can do this, Sylvia. Just go, go, go. This is one of the greatest sporting feats I've ever witnessed. She's on the home stretch now, and maybe, just maybe, she's gonna make it, but she's on a crash course directly towards Buck. A phenomenal broom fall. But it won't be enough. The race is due to start in five, four, three, two. Sylvia has done it. She has delivered the baton. Just in the nick of time. I don't believe it.
But don't worry, I'm actually quite nice once you get to know me. I'm Little Pink Riding Hood. I'm just skipping through the woods to visit my fairy godfather. Arr, by any chance you don't have a shovel in that there bag, do ye? Abracadabra! You're perfect! Look at the clubhouse! 